In Guyana, when you say turtle, one organization comes to mind. The Guyana Marine Turtle Conservation Society. One of the joint 2008 Public and Civic Contributions Laureates in the Anthony N. Sabga Caribbean Awards for Excellence, Annette R. June. Co-founded and is secretary of the group. It is one of Guyana's most successful environmental groups. This is Shell Beach, where it all began. How I first got involved with sea turtle conservation was due to my years of flying the length and breadth of Guyana and I visited the Shell Beach area one year, saw my first green turtle nesting. It was love at first sight. Most turtle habitats support one or two species. Shell Beach on the northwest coast of Guyana supports four, Leatherback, Hawksbill, Green and Olive Ridley. Turtle meat had been a, a food resource for the local people in the Guyanas dating centuries ago. And up to recent, during the mid-80s, turtle hunting was a, was a seasonal activity for local people. Over the years, the time has changed and conservation effort had begun with my dad, Audley James, who was a turtle hunter. In 1988, along with Compton and Manson and Peter Pritchard, they started the sea turtle conservation program in Guyana. So generally what we do is like more or less safeguard the beach from fishermen and poachers. In the last uh, five to ten years, uh, they have approached us, the government, and uh, the government has been able to put in a program of uh, some stretches of miles of uh, coastline in the area in which we implement uh, a ban on uh, fishing and fish nets in which the uh, turtles could be caught and drowned. But the work of the Guyana Marine Turtle Conservation Society isn't just about turtles. Annette Arjun has realized that to save the turtles, you have to stop the people around from hunting them and harvesting their eggs. To do that, you have to give the people an alternative. The Northwest Organics model is actually the community development arm of the GMTCS. So really what that's about is about working with communities, looking at other sustainable livelihood initiatives with which um, communities can work on so that you decrease the dependency on turtles, use of turtle eggs, use of turtles and so forth. I mean conservation will only happen if communities feel they can benefit in a tangible way. In our community we don't have at such employment so by doing this takes it was a little income for us. Now, Northwest Organics are on shelves all over Georgetown. Annette Arju would like to see a day when they're all over the world. We decided to target the Guyanese diaspora. We have more Guyanese living in New York and Toronto than we have in the whole of Guyana. Annette Arjun grew up in the Pomeroon, a rural district far northwest of the capital. She could have spent the rest of her life there if she didn't leave to join her father's family in Georgetown. I'm, I'm a Guyanese that was uh, born in the Pomeroon River in area. It's a local community and I think that played a large part um, for my love of the outdoors, growing up in that wonderful rich environment. I um, attended Brico Flight School in Trinidad and um, got my private pilot's license and then went back to Guyana. Helped my uh, father run his aviation business for 15 years where I also flew. And then when I got married, I had to decide to clip my wings for a bit to spend more time with my kids. And that is how come I started the Guyana Marine Turtle Conservation Society. Annette Arjun admits she has made some sacrifices to keep the Guyana Marine Turtle Conservation Society going. Have these sacrifices paid off? Um, my conservation work has um, been very challenging um, towards my family life and um, I struggle to find a balance between the two. But in reality, you cannot sit in an air conditioned office in Georgetown, in Georgetown's premier hotel and do conservation work that is meaningful. You have to be in the field to motivate people to work with them side by side to make a difference. Annette Arjun's life is testimony that one woman can create a world of change. Annette Arjun, the joint 2008 laureate,